709 days. That's how long college basketball fans have waited for the return of the NCAA tournament, and it's finally here. The four playing games were held last night, so the field of 68 is officially set. First round games tipping off in just under two hours. St. Bonaventure fans, of course, have to wait until tomorrow to see their team in action, but the anticipation for the game is palpable, both from the fans and the players. It's definitely a spotlight game. I feel like all of our guys know that. Uh, and then, like I said, good players uh, live up to these moments. Uh, you don't shy away from these moments, and they have a lot of great players. So I know a lot of people will be watching this game, and I just want to uh, get St. Bonaventure uh, name even more on the map. Bottom. And it's a matchup of two teams with drastically different playing styles. St. Bonaventure, slow, methodical, defense-driven. LSU, they like to get out and score, and they have the pieces to do just that. We know it's you know it's a Southeast Conference team. It's they're really athletic. They're really skilled. They got a couple of pros, you know, first-round picks on their uh, in their starting five. So it's almost like an you know NBA type of, of style of play. A lot of ISOs, and you know, but it's it's a challenge that we're looking forward to. One of those future first round draft picks might just be LSU's Cameron Thomas. The electric freshman averages over 20 points per game. He's the one in the one-two punch that makes up the Tigers' backcourt. The other perimeter star is Javante Smart. Smart can dial it up from deep. He's shooting 42% from beyond the arc and was a member of that 2019 Sweet 16 team. But St. Bonaventure offers a few players capable of lighting up the scoreboard as well. All five of their starters average in double figures in scoring. The Bonnies want to keep it a low scoring affair, but the leader of that group believes they can keep pace with LSU's high octane offense if needed. Obviously the goal is to keep it a low scoring game, uh, grind it out on defense event. But I feel like we have um, five players that can um, just have a big game any given night. Scoring just Sometimes it's not there, but I feel like in this, uh, moments like this, uh, good players shine, and I feel like we have good players. Aside from playing sound defense, Coach Schmidt laid out controlling tempo as a key to slowing down the eighth-ranked offense in the nation. And the Tigers aren't just guard-heavy forwards Darius Days and Trenton Watford combined to average nearly 30 points per game and over 15 boards per game. Schmidt highlighted the rebounding margin and paint battle as points of emphasis for his team. Suffice to say the Bonnies will have their hands full with the Tigers tomorrow. Days. Few people know the significance of a trip to the NCAA tournament and what it means to a program like St. Bonaventure better than the players who have been there before. They'll tell you themselves and it's an experience like no other. And similar to the 2018 team that knocked off UCLA in the first four, this year's squad is pitted against a formidable Power 5 foe. LSU is just a point and a half favorite, but that does put St. Bonaventure in the underdog role. Now that's nothing new for this Bonnie's team. In fact, it was the same situation Idris Taki and his teammates found themselves in three years ago, and it made the win that much sweeter. Being at Bonaventure, all we do is eat, drink, and sleep basketball. It was like so many things that I could see after that clock hit zero. It was a great experience. Just really knowing how hard and how much work we put in. It was so surreal, like I can't even put it into words. Mark Schmidt has commended his team all year long on their work ethic. We'll see if that translates to success tomorrow against LSU as it's done for much of the season. CBS's Carter Blackburn will be on the call tomorrow with the game airing on TNT. Blackburn covered the March Madness heroics of Murray State's John Morant in the 2019 tournament that included a 12-5 upset of Marquette. Clearly, he has an appreciation for quality mid-major play, but even though St. Bonaventure does qualify as a mid-major program, Blackburn doesn't think that label properly defines this Bonnies team. Just because the A-10 isn't recognized by you know uh, uh, whomever as a, as a quote unquote power like that's ridiculous it's a great basketball league i don't think anybody who knows college basketball is is sloughing off on the bonnies because they're they're very dangerous team Blackburn will be on the call with Debbie Antonelli and Evan Washburn Bonaventure LSU is one of four first and second round games he'll be broadcasting it's a joke Let's finish now with some SBU TV sports trivia this morning as we bring it back to a previous NCAA tournament. 
Back in the day, the Bonnies had their fair share of deep runs in the big dance that were fueled by some memorable performances, which got us thinking this week, who holds the program record for most points in an NCAA tournament game? And who did that performance come against? It's actually a tie between two Bonaventure all-time greats. Fred Crawford scored 34 in a win against Rhode Island in 1961. Seven years later, Bill Butler tied the record in a win against Boston College. And we've got another first-time trivia winner. Congratulations to Tom Bowen from Apple Valley, Minnesota. Be sure to stay tuned into our social media pages this weekend. We have all sorts of tournament coverage headed your way. Highlights, sound bites, and feel free to let us know where you're watching the game from tomorrow. Enjoy the action, folks, and go Bonnies. Grace, Nick.